Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Lagrange's theorem in group theory in discrete mathematics. It is one of the most important theorem in group theory. Okay, so what is Lagrange's theorem? Okay, here if G is a finite group, okay, G is one group, it satisfies four properties. One is closure property, associative property, identity property, and inverse property. Okay, so G is a finite group means G satisfies these four properties with respect to the binary operation, either star or plus. Okay, and H is a subgroup of G. H is a subgroup of G then H satisfies these four properties, closure, associative, identity, and inverse property. So whenever H satisfies these four properties, hence we can say that H is a subgroup of G. Then mod H divides mod G. Here mod H is nothing but number order of H, order of H. Order of H is nothing but number of elements in H divides the mod G. Mod G is nothing but order of G. So order of G is nothing but number of elements in group G. Okay. So now we go for this definition. If G is a finite group and H is a subgroup of G, then mod H divides mod G. That means order of H divides order of G. Okay. Next one. We can say that this definition in other words, the order of a subgroup of a finite group divides the order of group. Okay. So this is another definition. Okay. So by using this definition, we have to solve this example problem. Okay. What is one? Find all possible subgroups of the group G comma star where G is equal to set of 1 minus 1 I minus I. Here G is a group with respect to the operation multiplication and G contains four elements that is set of 1 minus 1 I minus I. Okay. So how many number of elements are there? So that is nothing but order of G. So G contains four elements. So hence we can say that mod G is equal to order of G. Order of G is equal to number of elements in group G. So that is equal to four. So hence we can say that order of group, order of group G, order of group G is mod g, mod g is equal to 4 because how many number of elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is mod g is equal to 4. Okay. So now mod h divides mod g. Mod h is nothing but order of subgroup. Order of subgroup divides order of g. Okay. That means what are the divisors of 4? So that are order of subgroups. So divisors of 4 means that is 1, 2, 4. Okay. So 1 divides 4, 2 divides 4, 4 divides 4. Okay. So these are the subgroups order. So subgroup order of 1, subgroup order of 2, subgroup order of 4. So hence subgroups of G order 1, 2, 4 divides order of G. Okay. For example, uh, order of G is 8. Okay. What are the order of subgroups of G? What are the divisors of 8? 1, 2, 4, 8. So, if 1, 2, 4, 8 are the subgroups of order of H. Subgroups of order of H is nothing but so 1, 2, 4, 8. These are all subgroups or divisors of G. Okay. Here, order of G is 4. Okay. What are the divisors of 4? 
that are 1 2 4 so these are the subgroups of order so now subgroup of order 1 so is denoted by h1 h1 is equal to set of 1 we are taking one element from this set so this is a set of 1 so here 1 is nothing but identity element with respect to the operation binary operation star okay so identity element okay identity element satisfies all the properties closure property associative property uh, identity property and inverse property so hence we can say that h1 is a subgroup h1 is a subgroup okay next we have to check that one by considering the previous video how to solve whether it is a subgroup or not by satisfying four properties closure property associative property identity property and inverse property okay so identity element satisfies all the four properties hence we can say that h1 is a subgroup okay next one subgroup of order 2 subgroup of order this is subgroup of order 1 this is subgroup of order 2 subgroup of order 2 we can take any two elements from the given set first i am taking 1 comma minus 1 this can be denoted as subgroup h2 next one 1 comma i this is the subgroup is denoted by h3 next h4 uh, 1 comma minus i so this is the subgroup that is the h4 okay so in the previous video i am solving one example problem that is uh, h2 is equal to set of 1 comma minus 1 this is a subgroup already check the previous video this is a subgroup because it satisfies four properties closure associative identity and inverse properties okay next h3 and h4 these are not subgroups because they are not satisfies the closure property okay at the first property that is closure property it is failed h3 is failed and h4 also failed okay hence we can say that h2 is equal to set of 1 comma minus 1 is a subgroup but h3 and h4 are not subgroups because they are not satisfying the closure property check that one okay next one subgroup of order 4 subgroup of order 4 means so order of g is 4 and the order of subgroup is also 4 it contains all the elements of g okay so it is also a uh, subgroup it satisfies four properties closure associative uh, identity and inverse property check the previous videos okay so h5 so it satisfies all the properties four properties hence we can say that it is a group it is a subgroup okay so therefore h5 is a subgroup okay so now subgroup of order 1 okay that contains only one element it divides order of g that is 4 that is 1 divides 4 subgroup of order subgroup of order 1 means h1 h1 contains only a one element okay so order of h1 is a 1 it divides the order of g order of g is 4 1 divides 4 okay it satisfies next one second one subgroup of order of 2 that means subgroup h2 contains two elements so therefore order of h2 is 2 order of g is 4 so h2 divides order of h2 divides order of g that is 2 divides 4 so it is satisfied so it is not satisfied it is not satisfied we can leave that it is satisfied okay next one subgroup of order 4 so it is denoted by h5 h5 contains four elements so that order of h5 is 4 okay so order of g is 4 4 divides 4 okay so so all the subgroups of orders of 1 and order of 2, order of 4 divides the order of G. So finally, 
the subgroups or finally the subgroups are 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i so these are the subgroups of this group okay by using lagrange's theorem okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasarao Thank you.